I'm the superintendent here at Southwest Chicago Christian School, uh, a 1977 alum, uh, and it's really my privilege to be able to serve uh, here at Southwest Chicago Christian School. Um, you folks have really um, blown us away by your participation tonight. We began planning this about a year and a half to two years ago. And I remember um, hearing our staff talk about maybe we could get 750 people. A thousand would be the absolute maximum. So for us as a school to have 1,300, nearly 1,400 of you here is a real blessing to us and an encouragement to us. So thank you for coming out tonight. <clears throat> I do want to make a couple of acknowledgments as we close tonight. First, we have Joel Westa, who is the head of Christian Schools International with us tonight. And you may have seen a certificate that they brought tonight and gave us in commemoration of our 100th anniversary. So we're thankful to have Joel here. And Joel, if you wouldn't mind standing just a minute. There he is way in the back in the middle. And we also had an incredible group of volunteers who worked for months and months to plan this, and especially the last number of weeks uh, to create this room here tonight. Um, and one in particular, it's always uh, dangerous to single out one individual, but there's a woman by the name of Cindy Vanderlaan who put an extraordinary amount of effort in over these last number of months. But please join me in thanking all of the folks who volunteered uh, to put tonight together. As I reflected on closing tonight, this celebration, the words of an old hymn that I learned as a child and sang hundreds of times came to my mind. And that hymn is, Great is Thy Faithfulness. I'm sure many of you here tonight have sung it hundreds of times in your lifetime. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. We've come together tonight to celebrate and to acknowledge and to give thanks for the faithfulness of our God. To hear Dr. George DeYoung in the video that we talked about earlier tonight, going to school, thumbing his way to school, or maybe riding the streetcar, to hear him talk about the dedication of the faculty in the administration throughout the Great Depression, the words, thou changest not, and thy compassions, they fail not, come to my mind. And in every season of the school's history, God has provided abundantly in his mercy to meet our needs. Whether that meant bringing committed and excellent faculty members at each stage of the school's development, or providing dedicated administrators over the years who worked selflessly for the school, orchestrating a major move from the Inglewood neighborhood of Chicago all the way out to Palos Heights back in 1962, and providing sound leadership with board and committee members that I'm sure many of you in the audience have served from generation to generation. We can say, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, unto me. And when I see new young faculty members joining our ranks, and I see young families enrolling their kids in preschool and in kindergarten, the word strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow, blessings all mine with 10,000 besides. So we gather tonight, it's a time to look back and to celebrate and to give thanks to our good and gracious God for his, his faithfulness over these last hundred years. However, it's also a time for us to look forward to the next hundred years, provided the Lord tarries. We can look forward in confidence precisely because of the faithfulness of our God. Each generation is called to take the baton and run its leg of the race with excellence and perseverance. I get excited as I look forward from here. 
I get excited because I have a two and a half year old granddaughter that the Lord willing will be a student here in the next couple of years. I get excited when I see 900 young kids show up every day, eager to learn, at least most of the time, right? eager to hear stories of God's faithfulness from generation to generation, eager to hear the story of how God is at work in the world and how as one of his beloved children, they will one day take their role in this world that God created. I want our granddaughter to have a Christian education. I want her to view the world and to view her life through the eyes of Scripture and to see her life of God's overarching plan for the world that he created, the world that he redeemed and the world that he is now restoring. That excites me every day and gives me the passion and the love for Christian education. Our goal for this 100-year celebration is to raise $500,000. Uh, it's not a small sum of money. However, we serve a God who's in the business of multiplying, just like he multiplied the loaves and the fishes when he fed the 5,000. And he has been at work. He has graciously provided a CCHS supporter willing to match every dollar that we receive in sponsorships and gifts tonight on a dollar-for-dollar -dollar basis up to $250,000. So out of our 500000 that brings the goal down to two hundred and fifty. And then we've been blessed with the sponsorships that you saw on the screen and on the plaques out front that have given another 150000 So that brings our need down to about 100000 tonight. So as you look around the room or look across the table at each other, that's our goal for tonight, is to raise another $100,000. All of you are well aware that we always have needs here at a Christian school. As I look around this room, I see many people who have served on the board and on committees or administrators, so I know that you know what I mean. Funds are always tight, and needs are always greater than the funds available. And many families struggle to afford a Christian education. But God always supplies. He multiplies the resources that we have to accomplish his purposes. Or maybe I should say he multiplies his resources that he's entrusted to us to accomplish his purposes. So as we look tonight for this celebration, we would like to use the funds to do several things. First, we want to remodel the Christian high, Chicago Christian High School front entry. They, set, they say you can't make a second first impression, and we want to improve the first impression that we make to prospective students and to visitors. We also want to tell the story in the mission of CCHS that you heard tonight, along with the faithfulness of our God in new and fresh ways in the front entryway. It's the largest portion of the needs that we are addressing tonight. You'll see on the screens a rendering of what a remodeled front entryway might look like. Second, we want to enhance the security at all three of our campuses to ensure the safety of our students and staff on a daily basis. We live in a world where violence is more prevalent and we need to take prudent steps to enhance the safety of our students and our staff. And third, we want to provide continued professional development and growth for our faculty so they can be the most effective teachers that they can be. This involves staying current in their area of expertise and also adapting to the increased use of technology in the classrooms. Our faculty are the most vital asset for delivering a quality Christian education to our students, and we need to invest in those folks. And fourth, we desire to tie that of the gross proceeds of tonight's event to our school's foundation in order to ensure the financial stability of the school for generations to come. The foundation has grown significantly over the last number of years, primarily through estate gifts, and now approaches approximately $8 million. The foundation's poised to be more meaningful 
and more important source of support in the school for years to come. So please give generously tonight. There are response cards and envelopes that are on your table. I believe you'll see them in the middle. Please take a few minutes to complete one of the cards and enclose your gift in the large envelope that's in the middle of the table. We'll be picking up those envelopes after the evening is over. And as you contemplate your gifts and place them in the envelopes tonight, we're going to be showing you a short video of Chicago Christian High School today. We'll then be closing the evening with two songs by the Friends of CCHS Choir. So after you've completed your gift, and while the video is being played, we're going to ask those who are singing with the Friends of CCHS Choir to work their way up to the stage area in order to be able to sing for us. And we're delighted to have Dave Barr and Beverly Decker Barr lead and accompany the Friends of CCHS Choir tonight. <laughs> 